Hello, it's Kat, and in today's tutorial, we'll be making these cherry blossoms in Adobe Illustrator using just a few easy steps. Feel free to download the starter file linked in the description down below and follow along. We'll start by making a polygon. If you go under your rectangle menu, click and hold, you'll find the polygon tool. Click once anywhere on your artboard and set your radius to 300 pixels and the sides to five and click okay. I have my first pentagon here filled with white. Next, I'll create a duplicate of my shape using the shortcuts controller command C and controller command F to copy and paste in front. I'll go ahead and scale that down, holding down shift and alt or shift and option on a Mac to scale it toward the center. Then I'll grab my eyedropper tool, hitting I on my keyboard, and I'll sample this next pink. I'll repeat that process three times until we get to the darkest pink in the center of what will become our flower. You'll notice that the three darker pink sections in the center of the flower are a bit smaller and closer together. These will make up the dark color in the center of your cherry blossom. Next, we'll create the petal shapes using an effect. Click with your selection tool and drag a box around all of your pentagons. Go up to your effect menu, down to distort and transform, and choose pucker and bloat. We're going to set this to 100% and click OK. You can see this already gives you a nice stylized cherry blossom and you could stop there if you want it. I want to edit my petals and add some blends to make this flower more realistic. So the first thing I'll do is expand these shapes. If I go into outline view, you can see that they're actually still just pentagons. With your flower selected, go up to your object menu and click expand appearance. Now if I go into outline view, you can see that we actually have the petal shapes to work with. If I select my outer shape with my direct selection tool, you can see that the only nodes are in the middle here. I want to add nodes to the center of my petals so that I can manipulate their shapes. For that, I'm going to use the add anchor point tool, which you can get by hitting plus on your keyboard or find it under your pen menu. Using that tool, I'm just going to click once on the very edge of each petal to add these nodes. I'll do that on each petal stack for all five of my shapes. And if you misclick and don't hit the edge, you'll get this dialog box. You don't have to worry about that. You can just click okay and try again. Now if I reselect all of my shapes, you can see that we have points at the edge of each petal shape. Next, with all of your shapes selected, go up to the object menu, down here to blend, and hit make. That should give you a smooth blend between all of your colors. And if it doesn't, make sure you have your blend selected, double click on your blend tool, and it'll bring up the options. For this, we're going to choose smooth color. Now we can give the petals a more realistic shape using our direct select tool by just manipulating these nodes on the edge of your petals. I'll just go ahead and drag these handles out. Make sure you only have the one node selected to start with. And you don't have to do this precisely. In fact, if you do it a little bit different for each petal, that's what will give the flower a more organic feel. You can take your designs further by making multiple copies of your flower, changing it up a bit, maybe adding shadows and popping them on a branch. I hope this was helpful. If it was, don't forget to leave a like. As always, have a great day and happy illustrating.